All right, welcome to what are you talking about? This is probably the 17th attempt at making a video. Editing is quite a painful process. I've seen you miss things that I want to talk about, so I'm gonna make this one real short and sweet. I'm Andrew. I like to go hiking. I also like to go ride my road bike and my mountain bike, and eventually I'm gonna get into road touring. But before then, I've been a hiker, and Throughout the years, I've taken my hiking from uh, backpacking with scouts and with things like that to ultralight, long distance, 20, 30 miles per day and doing 70, 100 miles in a week. So I'm going to go over a basic overview of my gear and then... You can make your own decisions about if what I carry. This is what I like to carry. This is not encompassing because there's no food, no water bottles. I haven't been on a trip in about seven months due to work and COVID. So this is my gear. I'm gonna splice this together and post and get it all going. So hope you enjoy. If you do, hit like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff everybody tells you to do. But I'm just doing this for my own mental health at this point. Ooh, shiny. Yep, I'm getting there. You'll see me in videos and pictures. I finally got Instagram, so I'm getting that up and going. And I always have a bandana on. So, let's get the gear room. Go through, walk through. I'm not really doing a review yet. I've used all of this gear for several years. So, I love it. I know it in and out. I know how to use it. It's some of the things you may never have seen before. And that's because I'm cheap. So let's get to the gear. All right, this is my gear room. I have gear in every single one of those boxes. I've got gear in that closet. Right now I've got my gear pulled out of three boxes. That's my normal every time gear. And laid it out on the bed. So, let's start down here. This is cooking. This is my 900 milliliter pot. And yes, I know 900 big. But I do a lot of trips with the family. So that's me, three kids, wife. That's perfect. This is my no-name stove. It's actually home-built. I built this out of a knockoff Red Bull. Uh, my only real knife that I carry because it's backpacking. This is a, an Alaskan Pocket Ulu. And I love that knife. I know it's lighter, but I know it works. So my camp soap for cleaning out my pot. My Tokes rock bag. It's actually not a rock bag. It's supposed to have something else in it. I don't even know what it, Oh, my windscreen came in that. But I don't carry a windscreen because I carry that stove. But this is 10 meters of mason's line and you need a lighter to go with the stove I always eat with a long handle spoon and i carry this rag because it works oh man does it work nice and soft on one side rough and scrubby on the other i love this thing it works great so that's cooking Cooking is real simple for me. It's always boil water, pour it in the packet, be gone. Uh, I carry way too much first aid gear, but this is my first aid kit. I am uh, wilderness first aid trained, certified, so I carry that. If you want to get hurt and on a trip, you want me around. Uh, I'm a Katydin, be free type of person. Uh, I carry a one liter, my wife carries a .6. When she goes with me, but I always carry this is a CNOC two liter in the orange, so I always carry that for extra water for me and the kids. So, water filtration for us is get it in through here, filter it through there into our bottles, and we're gone. Uh, there is most important toilet paper, uh, my deuce of spades. I carry a big one again, I do a lot of camping with the family. So, you got that. And both of those go in this 3F UL gear bag. That's actually for a poncho. 
but I use it to carry just that. So we move up. Uh, that is the bag for all the little miscellaneous stuff. There's my night eyes headlamp, some gold bond for chafing, a mm, good one. Light, uh, another lighter whistle on top. I wear glasses. One of my bandanas, and that is my rain skirt. I like wearing a rain skirt instead of pants. And that's sitting on top of my climate inflatable pillow. Uh, all this gear here is on top of the pump sack for my uh, inflatable pad, and that's made by Powerlix Outdoors. This is my. Uh, uh, So this dry bag here is for all my electronics. That dry bag there is for all my food. And all of this is of course sitting on a 55 gallon black contractor bag that goes inside of this wonderful thing here. This is my 3F gear uh, ultralight backpack. Weighs less than it's like 22 ounces for that and I fill it I pack it I love it sometimes I don't carry enough gear to warrant carrying it but that's what it is a uh, rain cover for the bag that's just a Walmart rain cover so now we get over here to my sleeping system which okay so you got the sleeping mat and now you've got my sleeping bag my current sleeping bag is a North Face Cat's Meow 20 and I live in the south so that's really my winter bag but it's my all year round bag right now because I haven't gotten my summer bag yet. And my single going out by myself tent of choice is this one here and it is the LL Bean Micro Light FS1 with the tent, the rain fly, the ground cloth poles and 10 stakes so i carry 10 eight of these little ones and i carry two of these titanium and other than food and water actually my water bottles this is everything i don't carry a lot i do a lot of i want to do high mileage I want to get out there and just knock out a whole bunch of trail. So that's all the gear. We'll go back to the other camera. So now we went through all the gear. This is the main stuff you'll always see me with. There are a few other safety items. Um, leave no trace card. Uh, a contact sheet that I carry. It's already got all my information on it in case... I drop my pack and fall down a ravine, something like that. And then my contact information is on my pack. I carry two phones. Uh, currently what I'm recording on is a Samsung S7. And I carry my personal phone, which is a Samsung A10e. I've never had a problem with either of them. I just like having the S7 for the editing process. It's a much better and faster phone, even though it is several years older. I know I can cut down a couple things and people are always going to be saying, oh, why don't you carry this? Why don't you carry that? This is what I like to carry. I've been hiking for 25 years and I thoroughly enjoy what I do. I enjoy getting out. I enjoy knocking out the miles, turning on a podcast and just rocking out and beating my body down. I feel when I get out on the trail to beat my body down, to get in touch with nature, it connects me more with the higher being, the higher power. I'm not going to do religion stuff. Uh, I am a religious person, but I'll keep that off because my connection and grounding through getting back to the earth brings me back. And that... It falls into a whole bunch of realms that people can theorize all they want. But 
that's all my gear so the first initial video on these things I'm trying to get up this week uh, virtual learning me being back in college and the fact that me and my wife run two businesses uh, kind of puts everything down you may have seen a trekking pole sitting over there in the corner with all the gear um, I do have a couple trekking pole tents no none of them are the nice big fancy ones but I do have a couple knockoff brands and just because again in this video I'll say it I'm cheap and being cheap allows me to try some gear make some modifications and not feel bad so I'll catch you in the next one or if you find this one later you've already caught me so have a good day